What's up guys, I'm Bray. I'm Henry. Welcome to another edition of Poggy Boy Production Channel. So Henry, where are we today? We are in River Road Edgewater. Edgewater. Yeah, we're here in a place called Mitsua. This place has been around since we grew up here. Yeah. Uh, this is our regular place. This is where we usually get our ramen sometimes and Japanese food. It's really good. Right, Henry? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this is my Japanese spot. <laughs> when was the last time you've been here? A long time ago? No, about a couple of months ago. A couple of months ago, yeah. But we used to, back in college, high school, we used to go here all the time, you know, when things was cheap. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, probably inflation and everything, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Helen, are you hungry? Always. All right, let's go. Mitsuwa! You wanna go shopping afterwards? Check it out. I'm just gonna check out Kit Kats later. Look. Ooh, look at Get some box meals.
Already, this is the eel. Got the seaweed, the rice, and the eel is in there somewhere. Unagi! <laughs> eel. Unagi. Onigiri. I know Henner does too, but too much rice for Henner, right? Henner? Too much. <laughs> I used to love onigiri. My diabetes says no to onigiri. Henner had enough rice for today. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's try this. Spam. I think that's egg. Rice and some seaweed wrapped in nice seaweed. Mm. No sweetness to I think it's is that egg? It looks like cheese. Anyway, you can't go wrong. Spam and rice, they go together like White on rice, I'm telling you. Spam, the mystery meat. <laughs> Gotta try it with the rice. And uh, yeah, delicious. I think this is really good. Mm. Mm. Good, good combo. They have other... Um, flavors there tried to the eel I think there was like chicken there's some tuna so all types of different onigiri so that place sells really good stuff so try their onigiris if you're in Mitsuwa recommend them try to the spam mm -mm -mm. all right let's just uh, walk around and check out what's here in Mitsuwa market
looks like it's under renovation right now. Use all the candies. Trying to look for Kit Kats. Everything and, and everything and everything that you need is here. Came back to Edgewater because a lot of the places were closed yesterday. So I went to go buy some desserts, some for the kids. Uh, I actually ate at Ocean Blue. A lot of them are still closed, but it should be opening in a few minutes, maybe in 10, 20 minutes. So I bought a few things. I'm gonna bring this one home. This is Kai Sweets. This is pretty cool. It's like uh, macaroons in like cartoon characters. I know my uh, niece and nephew will enjoy this and I'll probably sneak in and eat one <laughs> and then uh, waiting for that ice cream shop to open and um, maybe get some bubble tea later so keep watching. So here's a uh, Kai Sweets, it's a box, I'm gonna open it and just unbox it. <laughs> And I think these are the macaroons. Oh, look at that. You got the one-up mushroom. And you got a bunch of cool stuff in there. Oh, look at that. Yep. My niece and nephew are definitely going to eat it. Uh, I'm going to try one, though. We'll see. Here's Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu. <laughs> I'll try it. There goes his ear. <laughs> yeah sweet um, has a lemony taste to it kids are definitely gonna enjoy it so Look at that work of art. It's like purple spaghetti. And then I think I got matcha ice cream in the bottom. Let's taste this. It's delicious. Ooh. Let's try it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Get the green matcha underneath and the purple potato. Mmm. Very creamy, refreshing, and perfect for the summer. And I just like the way it's presented. <laughs> Spaghetti dessert, I call it. It's good though. I think it's worth it if you guys could find one in your area. I think Monte Blanc it's called. Try it. Several bad puns later. So there's a Daiso here, which is a Japanese supermarket where you can uh, find all kinds of knickknacks, I think. Right? Shishedo, which is a famous uh, makeup place. And Little Japan, I don't know what that is, but these are all the side stores 
uh, from Mitsuwa so you can get everything here but we're gonna go to the back I'm gonna show you guys where to get some good bubble tea right in the back of Mitsuwa you got views of New York City so right here in the back of Mitsuwa damn I don't have my uh, wind muffler so let me see if I can try to get rid of that noise for a little bit the wind but in, Right behind me is where uh, you can get some bubble tea and I'm gonna show you guys it's actually one over here in the back of me too it's a little building but here you have umacha cheese cream and bubble tea and I believe this is also a Korean barbecue spot although I have not eaten in here so let's go inside and get some bubble tea so apparently that place is closed I don't know what they're gonna do with it but the bubble tea place moved over here Right there, no more chow. Okay, so I got uh, cheese cream and bubble tea. I got, I think this is just regular bubble tea, I believe, with some bubbles in there. The sugar. Cheers, guys. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> Pretty good. Although there was a place, bubble tea place inside of the uh, Mitsua, but I think they closed down. For a while now and it was one of the better tasting bubble tea me and Hannah have been looking for it since but haven't haven't found one that is just like it this is close this is umacha but i think it tastes just like any other bubble tea place right get mine with less sugar <laughs> 